A man who crossed the Francis Key Bridge just before it collapsed last week is now speaking out. Take a listen to what he had to say. If I was one minute later, I probably wouldn't be here now. Still processing, Larry DeSantis says he left from his job in Pasadena around 1.18 a.m., roughly 10 minutes before the Key Bridge collapsed Tuesday morning to head to his second job at Herman's Bakery in Dundalk. When I was getting on, there was a tractor trailer, well, a tractor trailer, but it only had a tractor, not the trailer part of it. I got out in front of him or whatever. And we both got on the bridge. Larry says he was going around 45 miles per hour because of the construction. He says he saw construction workers once he got over the top part of the bridge. There was a police car when I went by right before the toll bridge. From what I understand, they knew something was going to happen. So he was waiting to get the word to stop the traffic. So I guess I was like the last one that went through. And once he got off the bridge, he didn't see or hear the collapse. The only reason he knew is because one of his co-workers called him. While I'm sitting at the light, the woman from here called me and said, where are you at? Because she knew I was, you know, she said, did you go home? Or you? I said, no, I just went over the bridge. She said, well, it just collapsed. He says he's still in shock, especially knowing some of the construction crew he passed on the bridge died in the collapse. Yeah, I know. You know and they still haven't found some of them. It's sad. It really is. You know, I mean, they're doing their job. and Now counting his blessings, saying he's grateful to be alive. The guy I work with, you know, we, leave, we left at the same time. If we had stopped and talked for a minute, which we do a lot of times, but we both had other jobs to go to, so we just left. Counting his blessings this morning and teams of engineers began the intricate process there of cutting and lifting the first section from that bridge in Baltimore on Saturday. They have a lot of work left to do. Starting today.